Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new, my name's Alex. Well, it's Alexandra Anele, but you can call me Alex. We're gonna be doing the, okay. First of all, don't know how to say her name. Is it Jackie Aina? 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 I don't know. I don't know Jackie. I don't really know much about her. I've heard great things. And personally, I think that this palette is pretty bomb. I mean, look at that packaging. Killer. So the reason that I got this was because first of all, I wanted it. And someone requested that I do a tutorial with it. And here's the look that I created. I think it's pretty fun. Yeah. So. All right, guys. So if you want to see how I created this look, keep watching. All right, guys. So I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids with the Anastasia Eye Primer. I also picked this up when I got the palette just because I'm in need of a new eye primer. And uh, I've been using this for a little while. It's actually pretty good. So it's pretty damn light. So you're going to get good payoff and a little bit goes a really long way. All right, and I obviously have the rest of my face makeup on, so I'm gonna do a little bit of baking just to be safe. I only ever do this if I did my face makeup first and if I'm using like pigmented shadows, typically I'll do my eyes first, but I, I filmed something before that, so. I'm gonna be using the LC Cosmetics Light Medium Setting Powder. All right, and then in the areas where I don't really care to brighten, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of the Kylie settings, uh, Setting Powder so it doesn't hold on to that, any of that pigment. And then later on, I can just dust all of that away. All right, I'm pretty excited about this palette. I, first of all, I like the packaging, pretty. But the colors are, that's nice. I'm into that. I don't know what I wanna start off with though. I am gonna start off with this, I can't read it. Ooh, ginger, I'm gonna go in with ginger to begin and just start building up my crease. All right, so I'm gonna use a little Anastasia brush and I'm gonna pick up ginger. I don't really know what look I wanna do. I just know which shadows I wanna use. Okay, I'm not the biggest fan of that brush actually. I'm just gonna lay this down to begin with. I guess it's not terrible. It's a little stiff, this brush. I'm just gonna, bl I'm gonna blow it out. I'm gonna blow this shit out. Damn, well I will say these shadows blend out so beautifully over that primer. The uh, brush is shedding all over me. All right, so now I'm gonna go into Supreme, this pink shade right here. And I just wanna add that, I don't fucking know. I ordered a mic. We're not gonna have to listen to the fucking zoom lens zoom and whatever over and over again. I know it's the worst. It pisses me off so much. And I know it's doing it as I'm saying this. All right, so I'm gonna build that pink up, focusing it a little closer to the crease. Now I'm gonna grab a pinker on my Sigma E42 brush and like really define the crease. I'm keeping this like a little bit tighter. Only a tiny bit of fallout so far. I'm gonna go in with that first blending brush and just blend around those edges. I'm going back in with a little bit of that pink shade just to blend. All right, and then right on the outer corner, I'm gonna grab Credit, this dark brown, and I'm gonna really deepen up the outer part. So I'm bringing that slightly onto the lid and we are getting fallout, so I'm so glad that I baked. Honestly, all of these shadows are really beautiful for the lid, but this is calling to me. I'm gonna start off by applying that with my finger. Holy shit, this is that foiled. Touching it, I have a feeling finger is gonna be best, just so you guys know. So, fuck yeah. Are you kidding me? So pretty, Oh, I love it. It's like warm and neutral and cool at the same time. So I'm just placing on the lid and then patting it into those shades, bringing it to the inner corner. And then I'm gonna use my finger to kind of like blend it into the crease. Cause I don't want it to be a cut crease. I want it to be a little bit softer. Oh my God, well we are getting mad fallout with these shadows, you guys. So pretty. It's like so dimensional and feels very light on my eyelids, which is really surprising because it definitely contains a lot of oil for that payoff. I actually think I'm gonna use Dwalas on my inner corner. I don't know. I'm into green. I'm so into green right now. I'm gonna do my inner corner before I dust this shit off. So I wanna use Dwalas, <laughs> Dwalas for my inner corner, which is kind of this like, I don't know, dirty money kind of like, green, but it's like a little bit more pale. Press it on my inner corner, kind of blending, because that's pretty, it's just like a nice pop. All right, this is gonna sound weird, but I really wanna put this neon green in my waterline from ColourPop. This is Electric Daisy. I think it's just gonna tie in the inner corner. For the lower lash line, I think I'm going to, I don't actually know. I'm gonna start off with Credit, that dark brown shade, and run that along my lower lash line, making sure to connect it to the top, take it about halfway. And then I'm gonna pick up Ginger, the color we started with, and run that just underneath, keeping it halfway again, but just making sure to kind of like soften and blend that first shadow. 
All right, so now for like right in here, before we get to our lower, our, our in our corner, I'm gonna go in with Sponsored, which is kind of this like, it's got green, it's got blue, it's kind of like a MAC blue-brown pigment. Green, there's like purple shift to it. I don't know how I feel about that, actually. <laughs> I've been super into winged liner lately, so I'm actually gonna go in with the Kai liner and just do like a nice thin, like half wing, basically. Can you figure your shit out? All right guys, so I just applied a few coats of mascara and then I popped on the Tati lashes. These are TL9. Those are kind of nice because they're like, long but they're kind of like open so you can see the eyeshadow so this is the finished look what do you think i love it i think these shadows are so pretty like i'm obsessed with this look so much right now mm, that lid color though all right guys so let's talk about this palette um i love I personally think it's fantastic. I love the Anastasia palettes. You guys know I'm a big fan of subculture. I never used Modern Renaissance, but I'm assuming I would love it. I think the packaging is really cute. I don't know Jackie. I literally don't know a single thing about her, but uh, people have told me that she's pretty cool and really funny, so that's good. So I can't really speak to like how much this reflects her, but I'm assuming it does considering it's her palette. But yeah, I love the colors in here. I love the, I think there's a lot of versatility. I like the mattes that they chose. They're all very complimentary, but you can kind of take it in different directions. Obviously there's like a lot of warm shadows, a lot of really pretty like pinks and things that are gonna be flattering on most people. I love the warmth that's in this palette. And then I also love the amount of lid shades that you have to work with because you can really do different things with this. There are a lot of different pairings. So I personally love the look that I created. I hope you did too. That's it for this video, you guys. I highly recommend the Anastasia palettes, but the one thing that I will say, because I know people have a hard time with them, is it's not a beginner palette. <laughs> like, you're not gonna open this shit up and look at this and be like, yeah, I'm a beginner. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing with eyeshadow and I'm gonna use this. So you are going to get fallout. These are highly pigmented. I personally think they're super blendable, really beautiful. If you have a hard time blending the Anastasia shadows, then I would recommend investing in a good eye primer. I really like the Anastasia eye primer. A cheaper option is the e.l.f. primer. That's also good. But if you continue to feel like you can't blend over those, put a little translucent powder in the areas where you're gonna be blending, like especially into your skin. So maybe keep it on your crease and that way the primer will uh, pick up that pigment on your lid and it'll really pop but it's not going to skip when you're, you know, blending around like your crease and into your skin and stuff like that, especially if you're like gonna blow out as much as I did. <laughs> All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked this look. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you do have this palette, please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to share, subscribe, comment, like, whatever. I don't even care. Just do it. Just support me. <sighs> I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. All right, guys, thank you so much for. Oh, 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 oh. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully, I will see you in the next one.